Hello, today we are going to create this beautiful, very, very, very beautiful website by using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As you can see, let me show you before moving further. This is the website that I am going to show you. So, this is the beautiful website that we are going to create by using JavaScript, HTML and CSS. Here is the logo. These are some navigation links. As you can see, I have used the icons here. Best collection, heading, button and background image. This is the card with light edge, some price and a button. Again a card and a card too. Moving further to heading, paragraph, some icons, button with the image. Same pattern I have used here. Moving to the gallery, some headings then pictures as you can see i have used the pictures here to again a heading paragraph and pictures as you can see heading paragraph and see more as you can say to the footer footer as you can see here is the footer you can see it here okay so today we are going to create this beautiful website as you can see by using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript, okay. So, we are using the Visual Studio Code for this purpose. As you can see, here is some basics and I here I have connected my style sheet with the main CSS and I am using the pop-ins in the sense, I the font family, okay. And here is the title, the e-commerce, as you can see, here is the title e-commerce you can change it according to your need as you can see the website starts from here and this is the header the header starts from here and ends here as you can say so header class with the name of header div class with the name of row to center our content div class with the name of header nav and in header nav we are going to use the div class with the name of header nav logo and here is the span we are using for the logo as you can see it here okay now nav class with the name of nav unordered list class with the name of nav list and again we are using the java list class with the name of nav items and for the anchor point class with the name of as you can see nav link and here is the span class with the name of active and you can see home okay you can see it here this is the active okay and now again we have copy uh, created the link class with the name of nav item and for the anchor point class with the name of nav link and link is closed you only have to copy this link and place it for the feature, for the new collection and for the blog. Okay, now close the unordered list and close the nav. For the div, class with the name of header nav icons. As you can see here, I have used three icons. Okay, for this div class header nav icons flex and I am using the flex here. Div class with the name of icon search and here is the search icon. And I have the search icon here. Then div class with the name of icon card and here is the icon and uh, you can see here is the icon and for the notification I have used the two here as you can see it here okay and there is the card icon again div class with the name of icon user and here is the icon okay icon user and here is the icon okay now the div is closed and the main div is also closed now i have used this portion for the javascript okay now div class with the name of 
header text box as you can see here is the text and in header text box we are going to use the div class with the name of header text box flex and in here we have we are using the para class with the name of header text and here is the header text as you can see it here okay so heading class primary uh, uh, sorry class with the name of heading primary and here is the heading and again the anchor point class with the name of button orange and the div is closed and the header is closed as you can see okay this button so we have created this portion now moving to style this portion let me show you the basics for the bp largest and for the medium for the small for the color white black gray light gray medium gray dark light pink light pink dark and orange for the fonts as you can see i have used the font family to poppins in the sans serif way for the ray, row to row to for i am using the row here to center our content as you can see these are in the center of the screen maximum width to 100 rem margin to 0 and auto and here i am using the media query for the media only screen and when the maximum width is when the maximum width is uh, medium then the maximum width will be changed to 80 and margin to 0 and auto again i am using the media query here when the maximum width is small then the maximum width will convert into the 55 rem and margin to 0 and auto as you can see universal results for all before and after margin to 0 padding to 0 and box sizing to inherit for the html font size to 62.5 percent and box sizing to border box again i am using the media query here i know i think so you know the basics of the media query when the maximum width is changed then the font size will be changed according to the bps okay or the maximum width for the body font family to font primary font weight to 400 color to color gray medium and line height to 1.6 as you can see now we are moving to the header portion as you can see i have used the, this background image here for this background uh, header background image to linear gradient to right bottom from black 0.5 to rgba black 2.5 and other, other url and here is the image as you can see it here okay background size to cover background position to center height to 100 viewport height and position to relative because we will be using the absolute here okay for the nav as you can see for these navs display to the flex align item to center and padding to 1.5 rem and 0 again i have used the media query here for the icons margin left to auto as you can see these are the icons and for the flex display to the flex align item to center and all but not the last child margin right to 1.5 rem as for the text as you can see here i have used some text for the text box position to absolute top to 50 percent left to 24.5 percent transform to translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent and all but not the last child margin bottom to 1.5 rem for the text color to color light and font size to the 2 rem for the logo font size to 3 rem cursor to pointer and color to color light as you can see the cursor will change into pointer for the nav nav list list style to none margin left to 10 rem and all but not the last child to margin right to 3 rem as you can see these are the navs for the item display to inline and again i have used maximum width uh, media query for the maximum width small and display to the flag block and for the link link active and link uh, text decoration to none font size to 1.7 rem color to color light font weight to 50 500 and for the hovering color to color orange and transition all to 2.5.2 second as you can see okay you can see the holding effect for the active as you can see this was the active for the active color to color light hover to color color orange and transition all to 0.2 second for the icons as you can see these are the icons for the icon color to color light search for the search icon font size to 2 rem cursor to pointer color to color light cut 
font size to 2 ram cursor to pointer position to relative because here is the position absolute color to color light and for the notification width to 2 ram height to 2 ram and these are the notification uh, border radius to 10 ram background color to color orange display to the flex align item to center justify content to center top to minus 1 ram right to minus 2.7 ram font size to 1.2 ram and color to color white for the user as you can see this was the user for the user font size to 2 ram cursor to pointer and color to color light for the menu which i have used but in the javascript okay for the heading font size to 4.5 ram color to color orange line height to 1.3 and again i have used the media query here for the button as you can see here is the button display to inline block text decoration to none and for the orange padding to 1 ram and 3 ram color to color white background color to color orange font size to 1.5 ram text transform to uppercase border to 1 pixel solid color orange and margin top to 2 ram for the hovering effect color to color orange background color to color light border to 1 pixel solid and color orange and transition all to 0.5 second as you can see it here okay now moving further to next portion to this portion now we are going to create this portion again for this the selection section collection starts from here as you can see it starts from here and ends here for this we only have to create one portion then we can copy it further section class collection div class with the name of row to center our content div class with the name of collection grid and here i am using the figure as you can see and into the figure as you can see figure starts from here and ends here and into the figure class with the name of collection grid item collection grid item one and in first item i am going to use the image class with the name of collection image div class with the name of collection image overlay and in the overlay div class with the name of collection image content as this is the image as you can see and here is the content as you can see for class product name as you can see here is the product name you can see it here okay and for the price discounted as you can see and button button orange you can see the div is closed and the figure is closed you only have to copy this figure and place it two times one time and two time you only have to change the image as you can see product name and product price discount okay like this as you can see it here okay now moving to style it collection padding to 10 ram and 0 for the grid display to the grid grid template column to repeat 7 1 fr grid template row to repeat 6 5 report width and grid gap to 3 ram for the items position to relative because we are going to use position absolute here okay for the first one grid column to 1 by 4 and grid row to 1 by 4 for the second grid column to 1 by 4 and grid row to 4 by 7 and for the third grid column to 4 by 8 and grid row to 1 by 7 as you can see this is the first second and third okay for the image width to 100 percent height to 100 percent object fit to cover display to block for the overlay as you can see this is the overlay as you can see overlay overlay okay for the overlay position to absolute top to 0 left to 0 width to 100 percent width uh, height to 100 percent background color to color black 2.7 as you can see it here opacity to 0 and for the hover opacity to 1 transition to all 0.5 section second and for the hover uh, collection image content transform to translate y to 2 rem and translate x to 2 rem transition all to 5 second okay as you can see when you hover it okay and again i have used the media query here for translate x to 2 rem translate y to 1 rem and transition all to 0.5 section second and for the bp small bp media uh, maximum width as you can see uh, transform to translate x to 2 rem translate y to 1 rem and transition all to 0.5 second 
for the content as you can see transform to translate x to 2 rem translate y to 20 rem and again i have used the media query here okay for the text color to color light font weight to 500 font size to 2.5 rem and text transform to uppercase for the price as you can see here is the price you can see it here color to color light font weight to 500 font size to 2.5 rem and trans text transform to uppercase and for the product name to color light font weight to 500 font size to 2.5 rem and text transform to uppercase and again i have used the media query here for the features color to color gray dark text transform to none and font size to 1.5 rem and for the price discounted color to color light font weight to 500 font size to 2.5 rem and text transform to uppercase okay and again i have used the media query here for bp medium maximum weight to medium font size to 1.5 rem and for the features color to color gray dark text transform to none and font size to 1.5 rem as you can see it here okay now moving further to the feature section as you can see this is the feature section starts from here and ends here okay into the feature section and the feature section starts from here and ends here again we only have to create one feature then we can copy it further like this we only have to create this portion then we can copy it one two three four five five times okay for this section class features div class row div class text box and h2 class with the name of heading secondary and here is the heading as you can see it. here is the heading okay and for the class para class with the name of text box text and here is the text again moving to the closing the div and now moving to the feature grid okay class with the name of feature grid class with the name of feature grid item feature grid item one and now remember this div class with the name of class feature grid item content and here is the content as you can see 10 percent of div class with the name of icon star feature grid and here is the icons as you can see icons okay now paragraph class with the name of product name product name feature feature grid 3 as you can see product name okay this this product name and class with the name of product price and <coughs> a product price discounted feature feature grid 4 and here is the price and here is the class with the name of feature grid item photo feature grid item 5 and here is the photo as you can see class with the name of feature grid item image and then close the div and close the main div as you can see it here then copy this div from here to there and paste it 1 2 3 and 4 times ok you only have to change this portion you, uh, you need to ch change the class and the product name or product price images and this ok then you will have the exact same thing created here ok so now moving to the stylist portion our feature portion into the feature portion padding to 5 rem and 0 background color to color light for the grid display to the grid grid template columns to repeat auto fit to minimum maximum 28 rem and 1 fr grid column gap to 5 rem and grid row gap to 10 rem here i have used the media query for the largest uh, maximum uh, grid row gap to 7 rem and grid column gap to 3 rem again i have used the for the large for the small okay for the item 
and in item I have used the content display to the grid, grid template column to repeat 8 to 1 fr and grid uh, template row to repeat 8 minimum content and for the image maximum width to 100 percent ok. For the first portion grid column to 1 by 3 and grid row to 1 by 2 and g index to 1 as you can see for this portion ok. For the second grid column to 7 by 9 m. Uh, 7 by 9 sorry grid row to 1 by 2 and z index to 1 transform to translate x to 0.5 rm for the third portion grid column to 1 by 6 and grid row to 6 by 7 for the fourth grid column to 1 by 6 and grid row to 7 by 8 and for the fifth portion grid column to 1 by minus 1 and grid row to 1 by 6 as you can see it here ok now for the heading scandy I have used the heading here you can see it here I have used the heading here Font size to 4 m and color to color gray dark. For the text box, text line to center, padding to 0 and 15, viewport width and all. Margin bottom to 3.5 rem and for the text font size to 1.6 rem. Okay, now moving further to the gallery portion and this is our gallery portion starts from here and ends here. Okay, you can see I have used heading, paragraph and pictures. Okay, as you can see the gallery starts from here and let me show you starts from here and ends here. It is a small portion, we are going to use the pictures only and some heading and paragraph. Deep class with the name of gallery, deep class with the name of row, deep class with the name of text box and here is the heading scannery and here is the class with the name of text box text. You can see paragraph uh, heading and paragraph. Okay. Now moving further to div class with the name of gallery grid, and here is I am using the figure. You only have to copy this figure several times. Okay. Class with the name of gallery grid first, and image with the name of gallery uh, gallery grid image, and here is the image. Okay. You can copy this and paste it two, three, four, five, and six times, seven times and close the div and close the section ok for the gallery padding to 5 rem and 0 for the grid display to grid grid template column to repeat 6 and 1 fr grid template row to repeat 9 and 5 vw viewport width and grid gap to 2 rem for the image width to 10 per 100 percent high to 100 percent object fit to cover and display to the block for the first one grid column to 1 by 3 grid row to 1 by 7 for the second grid column to 3 by 5, grid row to 1 by 4, for the third grid column to 5 by 7 and grid row to 1 by 4, for the fourth grid column to 3 by 5 and grid row to 4 by 7, for the fifth one grid column to 1 by 3, grid row to 7 by 10 and for the sixth grid column to 3 by 5 and grid row to 7 by 10 and for the seventh one grid column to 5 by 7 and grid row to 4 by 10. 10 as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 you can see it here ok. Now moving to our block section heading, paragraph, pictures, some headings, paragraph and see more as you can see. Now we are going to create this portion, this portion starts from here and ends here. Again this portion we are going to create this then copy it two times. For this section class blog, deep class with the name of row, deep class to the text box, heading, secondary heading and uh, paragraph text box text. Deep class with the name of blog grid and here is the first portion you can see this deep starts from here. Deep class with the name of blog grid item content and here I am using the image class with the name of bl uh, blog grid image. Here is the heading class heading 3. three and here is the heading as you can see ok this is the heading and again class with the name of blog grid item text and here is the text as you can see now the para is closed after the c more and the div is closed and the div is closed you only have to copy this div from here to there and paste it two times like two and three you only have to change the classes images and headings ok so moving further to style this portion, 
glow to padding to 5 rem and zero background color to color light and for the grid display it to the grid grid template column to repeat auto fit minimum maximum to 28 rem and 1 fr grid gap to 1 rem for the item content padding to 0.5 viewport width and all but not the last shell margin bottom to 1.5 rem for the image width to 100% text to font size to 1.2 rem and for more font size to 1.5 rem font weight to 500 color to color gray dark and cursor to pointer for the heading 3 font size to 1.5 rem color to color gray dark and line height to 1 now moving to the footer section as you can see here is the footer now we are going to create this footer footer starts from here and ends here for this again we are going to create this portion this this portion then place it two time for this we are going to div we are going to use the div class with the name of footer div class with the name of row div class with the name of footer grid and in footer grid we are going to use the div class with the name of footer grid item footer grid item 1 div class with the name of footer grid item content and here is the heading 4 with the paragraph and with the paragraph 2 for the copyright issues and i have created this portion as you can see it here now moving to the uh, div class with the name of footer grid item footer grid item 2 div class with the name of footer grid item content and into the content we are again using the nav footer nav class with the name of footer nav and into the lab nav we are going to use the unordered list class with the name of nav list and into the unordered list we are going to use the list class with the name of footer nav item and in the footer nav item we are going to use the anchor point class with the name of footer nav link and this link is footer link link dark and here is the product as you can see this is the dark one these are the light one these are the dark one okay and again we are going to use the link class with the name of footer nav item and anchor point class with the name of footer nav link we are going to copy this portion and place it for the carriers for the ligger for the blog okay now close the unordered list close the nav and close the div now we are going to copy this div from here to there like this copy this here and place it for the third item change the company sport and agent and services and for the fourth item change it to the social facebook twitter linkedin and for the printers close the div and close the unordered list and close the div okay <coughs> now we are going to style this portion here for this we are moving to the footer padding to 10 rem and 0 for the grid display to the grid grid template column to repeat auto fit minimum maximum to 24 rem and 1 fr column gap to 1 rem and for the item content padding to 0 and 1 rem and all but not the last shell margin bottom to 1.5 rem for the text font size to 1.2 rem margin top to 3 rem and for the copyright as you can see here is the copyright for the copyright font size to 1.5 rem color to color gray dark and font weight to 500 for the nav as you can see here are the nav for the nav and list list style to none and for the link text decoration to none font size to 1.4 rem color to inherit and for the hover color to color orange transition all to 2.2 second for the dark color gray uh, dark and font size to 2 rem and font weight to 500 for the heading 4 as you can see here is the heading for the heading 4 font size to 2 rem color to color gray dark and line height to 1 so this is the this is the website that we have created today as you can see let me show you here you can see it it will it will change according to the dimension as you can see it here it will adjust itself according to the dimension you can see it here okay now moving to decrease it as you can see it here Okay. 
this was the javascript that i didn't tell you here okay as you can say it here it has adjusted itself according to the dimension a complete responsive website okay and here is the javascript folder okay for different purposes as you can see so today i have created this beautiful very very beautiful and close to my heart website as you can see if you want the source code i will put it into the list description below if you like my video please like it share it and subscribe my channel and if you have any suggestions please let me know into the comment box and thank you for the watching